Hey! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or whatever time that it is that you come across this reading. My name is Omni Badu, and I am back with another one. Yay! Keep in mind that these are general... Oh, <laughs> I said obsessive. These are general collective readings, and I don't read for any one specific sign on this channel. If this is your story, your business, if this resonates, be honest with yourself. Plug yourself into the reading where you deserve to be. Smack it up, flip it, rub it down, hit the reverse on it. Do whatever you have to do, but don't force it. Only take what resonates with you, <clears throat> your life, your story, and leave the rest behind. If this is your story, your business, if this resonates, be honest with yourself. Plug your or shit. If this is your story, your business, if this resonates, give it a thumbs up, like it if you like it, and subscribe if you like my vibe. Welcome. Hey. If you're new, and welcome back if you have been here before. Okay. So let's get into it. I I think y'all have moved on from an ex. This is somebody who, who's not moving on with, from you though. Or this person is about to, this person is gonna become a stalker, I kind of feel like. What I, <laughs> what I channeled was stalker alert. And I was like, what? I guess this would go over here, and this would go here, and this would go here. So yes, y'all have a stalker or somebody is gonna start stalking you guys. The problem is y'all don't want this person or you've completely moved on and removed yourself from this situation. I feel like there was a point in time where you were ugly crying over this connection. Mm. You could have even been in an obsessive energy or state or something like that. Or you were crying possibly because this person was obsessing over you for a period of time and then you know they hit the switch up on you i don't know but i do feel like y'all were in this energy of crying really bad you know hurting but make sure y'all cry with intention right when you crying and things like that make sure you're kind of telling yourself good things you know oh, i'm sad but i won't be sad forever you know, I lost so and so, but you know what I mean. Just, just cry with intention, right? Don't, don't just be crying just to be crying. Cry knowing that you're crying because you ain't never gonna see this person again. Cry knowing that you're crying because you never gonna hear their voice again. You know, stuff like that. <clears throat> if you're in this energy currently, but a lot of you are not, because we have. They think that you're still in love, and they think that you're still holding on. So I think this person is gonna come back trying to talk. This is this person. I feel like this person doesn't love you. I feel like this is someone who actually hates you. I feel like this is someone who's holding a grudge against you. I feel like this is someone who feels like you did something to them that they did not deserve and they hate you for it and they're going to hate you for it for the rest of their life. But they have an obsession with you. And so although they hate you, they do not love you. They cannot not speak to you or see you or have you in their life in some sort of way, shape, or form, right? Even if y'all talk once a month, <coughs> that would appease this person. And there was a period where y'all were talking, you know, every few weeks, once a month, every other month. And maybe although the conversation and you reaching out was starting to dwindle, this person never picked up the slack. So it was obvious to me that seems and sounds like it's obvious that that person is disconnecting and they no longer need you. They're no longer codependent. They're no longer obsessing. They're, they're not in it anymore, right? So now this person wants you to talk to them. And I feel like they may even need something from you, right? We have throw, throwing money at you, 3D based superficial. I feel it's more so that this person is gonna try to buy you some sort of gift. Or some of you guys, this person may cash app you often hundreds of dollars and stuff like that. Um, especially when you fall back, if you stop talking to them or they may start sending you a lot of money. So this may be that they didn't notice that they were losing you because they had their attention elsewhere. That thing didn't, you know, they've lost, that doesn't have their attention anymore. So now they're wondering where you went, where you've been, and they're going to start sending you cash apps or something like that. 
because they want you to reach out to them. They want you to start talking to them again because they need you. They need something from you. They need your energy. They need a, a place to stay or something like that. says call the police into jail abuse so this person may they may start calling you and texting you like say this person goes to jail and they need to be bonded out some of y'all they want you to help bond them out and they've been sending you money prior to and then they actually call you from the jailhouse or something and they're like could you bond me out you're like no and they may feel some type of way because they've been sending y'all money so be careful accepting money i guess from this person this is someone abusive and they might try to you know put them one twos on you when they get out you know what i'm saying so be careful um others of you this person is violent and aggressive and and, and mean and evil and nasty and cruel they're abusive mentally emotionally physically men you know spiritually so this person may have actually uh been abusive towards you but you never called the police on this person because your love for them at that time was real which is stupid okay if somebody put their hands on you send their ass to the clink i don't give a fuck if y'all got kids or not yes that is dumb right i try not to be like you know but if somebody putting their hands on you you need to call the police okay it don't matter if that's my kid's dad who cares call the motherfucking police that's the only way they gonna learn that you ain't for the fuck shit, okay? Um, but some of y'all did not do that. You know, in that time, that period, that cycle has ended, those years have passed in your life and they went somewhere trying to dot somebody else's eye because you never called the police on them, thinking this new person had the same love that you had for them, but they may have actually been sent to jail. And because this person called the police and actually had them arrested and you never would have, never did, never could have, they're in this crazy, I know, but I still love you. But they don't. We, we have conditioning, right? This is somebody, this is a narcissist. This is somebody who just wants to condition somebody or they feel like they've conditioned you and abused you enough in the past. Because that's, that's conditioning, right? Abusing somebody. They do the grooming and whatnot, and then they start abusing you and apologizing and telling you, you know, they didn't mean it or it'll never happen. That's conditioning, right? That's conditioning you to start taking them ass whoopings. And so this person may be coming back towards you just simply because they feel like they've conditioned you in the past, that you're a victim already. You already have a victim mindset. You know what I'm saying? You already, you know, so you will let them back in basically. For some of y'all, <laughs> the thing is, y'all, I think this is all going on in this person's mind. This person doesn't really know what you've been up to. They don't know nothing about you. They don't know what direction your life has gone in. And they don't care because they believe that they have the power to, to get you back or to, you know, step on whoever's toes or whatever, right? <clears throat> But I don't think you're you're there. Voice of an angel. This person may like your voice or you may speak the truth. All right. Because y'all love to get in the comments and say how I be speaking the truthies. Okay. Because I do. I don't have no reason to lie and I ain't going to lie. Okay. But yeah. See, this is where I'm like, something ain't making no sense. You release the idea of a specific outcome. You've released the idea of the outcome. Happy permanent ending. Don't stress, just pray. Pretty smile, pretty teeth, pretty feet. Getting comfortable with your beauty, right? So, but we also have ghosting to avoid the truth. If you have a choice, choose them. Obsession, overload, self-imposed, mental prison. So, I can never see what I, never unsee what I saw <clears throat> with silly goofy funny so you're back in a very upbeat very high vibrational positive energy but you will never forget what this person said you will never forget what they did and if you saw anything in their phone in person at their job you are never going to forget the things that you saw either so you're never going to forget you may forgive you may not forgive them to their face and so you don't have to forgive them to their face but you may have forgiven this person in your heart um but you ain't never gonna fuck with them like that again because you you've seen things about this person you 
that's the biggest thing, right? You'll never forget what you saw in them. You never for, you'll never forget how vengeful they are. You'll never forget how they hold grudges. You'll never forget how evil they are. You'll never forget how, you know, vindictive. So it's them that you see, that you'll never unsee. They can never put that mask back on and get you to see a different version of them because it'll never fucking happen as far as you're concerned. Motherfucker fooled me once, shame on you, all right? <laughs> but you won't get to fool me again, all right? So... This is pretty much a dead ass done motherfucking deal. So you can explore your options, but I can't. Love turns to hate. Yeah, jealous. This person hate the fuck out of you. This person hates your guts and they're jealous of you. Why do they want you to talk to them? I mean, we I see toxic obsession, but god damn, right? Like that's this is that's something else. That's beyond obsession. Or maybe that's what obsession is. I don't know. I ain't never, I don't think I've ever been obsessed with nobody. If I was, it didn't last long because I cut a motherfucker off quick. <laughs> Even if I'm sad and crying for three more months, you would never know. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't know if I've ever been obsessed with anybody. So maybe this is how obsession works because this person don't love you. They hate you, right? Crazy, I know, but I still love you. Then we had love turns to hate, right? Jealous. I think they need you. They need you to get them out of jail. Or they just need to be able to siphon your energy. I think this person is the one who's ugly crying now. And now they're embarrassed to be seen with this person who they thought was so fine and so sexy and so beautiful because this person called the police and sent them to jail. And on top of that, I feel like whoever called the police on them has been talking about them and telling all their business, anything y'all may have ever had going on that this person told this other feminine, this person is running around telling everybody everything that they ever went through, which would include things that had to do with you. You know, they're telling, they're telling who this masculine really is. This person's aggressive, they're violent, they're mean, they're crazy. Like they're, they're really going in on this masculine. So now this masculine, people are looking at this masculine funny because of what this feminine is saying and they don't want to be seen with this feminine. And they also don't want to see the people that this feminine has been talking to. But I feel like this person talked about you in that same type of way. I feel like this person you know laughed at you i feel like this person you know went in on you you know and and you know maybe even called you crazy and things a stalker and you're obsessed and all these things because of how they were treating you and so ultimately it's kind of coming blowing back on them because somebody is now talking about them in the exact same way and they are embarrassed to be seen with that person but again, I feel like more of the embarrassment is how could you send me to jail? You know what I'm saying? They ghosted you guys for this person, ghosting to avoid the truth. If you have a choice, choose them. So they ghosted you and you just walked away. But now their obsession is in overload, self-imposed mental prison. So now their obsession is going fucking crazy. Cause they, Cause they want you? Y'all have a, a divine, past divine headed your way. So a divine masculine is headed your way. This is like your kingdom spouse or your divine counterpart or something like that. Past could be past life or it could be somebody that you've dealt with already, but the situation didn't go the way it was supposed to at that time. We have bad bitch behavior with magnetic attraction. This person likes your personality. They, You may be sassy or feisty or little attitude or a little spoiled or you could be really docile and really calm really cool you know really easy to get along with you could be all of the above right you sassy you feisty you got all this personality but you know when it's just you and them or when you in the house or when they call you're there for them you're easy to talk to right you're down to earth and you look good than a motherfucker i feel like you're a freak in the sheets right classy in the streets so nobody would ever know that you get down how you get down, okay? Nobody would ever know that you'd be doing the shit you'd be doing in the bedroom unless they got to know you like that, which I feel like is not easy. So you're really coming off as the unattainable. You're coming off as somebody who's somewhere sitting pretty with your feet up, minding your goddamn business. 
but you have this divine masculine who has this magnetic attraction to you. So yeah, y'all are, are getting ready to deal. And this may be the person actually who likes your voice. Pretty smile, pretty teeth, pretty feet, right? So this person finds you to be extremely fucking attractive. They may even think you have pretty feet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so I know I ruined our connection. This past divine masculine did something to throw a monkey wrench in things. They did something that you didn't really like the taste of it, okay? He was like, I don't know. Like, I don't know if I can fuck with you. I don't know if you can be my man. I don't know, you know, what we can do after this point because you did a lot. You know what I'm saying? So they know they ruined the connection, but they also know that they're going to come back towards you and fix it. I feel like this person feels like they fumbled you, they let you go, or they walked away from you, or they let somebody come in between y'all, and that was a mistake that they want to correct. And they don't want to allow you to get away from them again, whoever this is. <clears throat> then we have this one. They think you need closure. I lied on you or to you. I needed to make myself look good. So we already pretty much know what's going on. Hold on, y'all. Let me get these other cards. Okay, <clears throat> so we going to pull some cards for both of these energies, guys. I really, y'all, I don't be understanding what, what's going on with this past masculine's energy. Sometimes I wonder if I'm reading it wrong, right? Sometimes I wonder if y'all are holding on to this person and they trying to get away from you. <laughs> and I think I only be wondering that because I'm confused. It's like what the fuck is going on why are they here like it's obvious this person wants to explore their options they have one person in particular that they want to be in a commitment with or that they're in a commitment with some of y'all person got a baby some of y'all person is living with somebody else some of y'all person got a baby or two and living with this bitch and still trying to have control over you it's i don't it's weird and I don't understand it. It's like, damn, I wish I could have a crazy person's mind for about three days so I could really get some understanding here because y'all, I'd be lost. I'm like, am I reading this wrong? But no, nah, I can't be. I get too many emails. I get too many responses on these videos. Like, I know that I'm reading this shit right, but it, it just don't make no sense that it's, it's coming out the way it's coming out. It's coming out as often and as much as it, like, it, it it's nerve-wracking. It absolutely is. Okay. Because they think you're still in love. They think you're, you need closure. They think you're still holding on. So they start trying to throw money at you? Yeah, I feel like th this past person is actually, like, heartbroken. I feel like this person calling the police on them is going to break this masculine's heart. It's like, <clears throat> which who gives a fuck? No one cares, right? Fuck them and they fucking nothing-ass, piece of shit-ass, block-ass ice heart because it ain't really no real heart there. They hate you for no fucking reason. But I still, I think this past, whoever they're embarrassed to now be seen with, that person broke their heart and this could even be a friend of theirs this don't have to be a love interest this could be their homeboy or their homegirl you know and they got aggressive or they got crazy or something and this person called the police right you might have yelled with them and screamed with them and y'all might have threw some shit around and busted each other upside the head whatever y'all used to do right but they may get into an argument or a disagreement with a lover or a friend and that person calls the police it may not even get to the degree that y'all shit used to get to or they get into a physical altercation or something with a friend or a friend of a friend. It might be their friend's homeboy. You know what I'm saying? Or they do something like that. Or they sister's fucking homegirl's man, you know, is at the barbecue and they get into it and they get in a fight and everybody's looking at this ex like they're crazy and they call the police on this person. Hold on. Where was I? Yes. Either way it goes, they, they heart is going to be broken by this somebody calling the police on them. And they're going to not want to be seen with that person anymore, right? Because it's weird. It's like if everybody knows that this bitch or this homeboy or this homegirl or this 
friend of a friend's friend, you know, whatever. If everybody knows that this person called the police on you and shit, but especially if it's your girl or your dude, and then you're walking around with them at the mall holding their hand and kissing them on the neck, anybody who know y'all or know of that is going to be wondering. They're going to be looking. They're going to be whispering. It's going to be gossip. People going to be talking. So I don't think they want to deal with whoever called the police on them anymore. But... <clears throat> It's almost like they couldn't deal with this person even if they wanted to. Because of the embarrassment, this person's pride and ego rules them. So, yeah, they got to save face and cut this person off now. Wow. <sighs> some of y'all, I don't know. They may even get into a fight or something like that at work for some of you guys or with a coworker or with if they fucking with a coworker, with that person's man or woman who also may work with them. But either way it goes, you know, somebody's going to deceive this person and betray them. And, and for some odd reason, they, they mind is going to go to you. And I just feel like y'all are going to already be here with this divine masculine, this person y'all have this magnetic attraction to. This, to me, feels like a two-way obsession right that's where i like i don't know it, it may it's not a toxic obsession though that's what this person has so this is more like a a mutual infatuation or a mutual attraction you know a, i don't know something but i feel like this is from both of you not just from this masculine where i feel this one is just from this masculine you feel nothing towards them or for them this person is not 100 they're fake as fuck which we already know they're not 100 because they act like they, they act like they hate you, but they don't, but they do, you know what I'm saying, right? Like it's a love hate thing. It's, it's, they love things about you, but they hate those same things that they love about you, which is why they're jealous. Uh, but I also feel a little bit like this person may hate you because you moved on hate you because you tried to move on and they can't they're bitter about it and they just can't let it go or get over it but they pretend like oh i don't like i don't hold any grudge like what are you talking about a problem from the past but really they they mad and they hate you because you moved on you fell in love with somebody else a lot of y'all fell in love with this divine masculine this masculine may have tried to come between it or separate it or stop it destroy it or whatever out of jealousy right and then they started hating you because they couldn't believe that not only did you leave them, but you left them and you went and fell in love with somebody else. But the whole time that this has been going on and they've been with somebody else and they have an obsession with you. And that's why some someday, somewhere, another time, one day is out here because they believe in their mind that y'all can and will get back together one day. Even though this is shattered, it's damaged, is destroyed, right? They broke your heart, so this is done. But they're now in this energy of shattered, damaged, brokenhearted, destroyed because their friend or their little hoe or whatever called the police on them or didn't fight for them. Somebody else could have called the police, but they bitch was there or they bestest friend was there and they just stood there. And they was like, you know, trying to get, they was looking to see if this person was gonna try to talk to the police for them or advocate for them or bail them out this person may not even bail this masculine out you know and that really destroyed them it broke their heart it shattered them so now they're in this unstable emotional whirlwind ass energy and that's why you're gonna have this person driving past your house that's why they're gonna start stalking you that's where their obsession for you starts to come into play oh who can fix me who can who can i run to right who can i you all right that's what they thinking the great pretender acts uninterested but stalks okay they're a stalker so y'all are about to have some of y'all already have somebody driving past your house or some y'all have somebody that is going to be driving past your house that y'all already fucking said goodbye to y'all already said y'all farewell, farewells y'all have already you know had a final ending but this person left it open-ended. They did not give you closure intentionally so that they could try to come back and fix it and put it back together and have you back in their life if they wanted to, when they wanted to. But if they never needed to, then you never would have got closure, right? And some of y'all, the only closure you're really going to get is that this person is coming back towards you to try to be with you again. Jesus. 
cheaters got busted in public. Yeah, maybe the person they were with was cheating and they ran up on the person and got themselves put in jail. I don't know. This masculine could be a schemer. I am so... I was just finna... I'm not gonna take these, but we gonna get some for this person over here. We have bragging, telling people about you with shallow, boredom, blank. I feel like... I hate when I do this to myself because I feel like these cards and these energies are mixed up. Now, this person could start trying to give y'all money if you know your person does that. If you know your person sends money and things like that to try to get your attention or get you to reach out to them. But this person, this divine masculine could be a bit superficial and they're kind of bored in their life right now. They're bored with all of their options. They're bored with all the hoes. They like to run back and forth between they bored. There, there's no excitement anymore. So they may actually start tricking on you. But they're tricking on you because they feel like you got your own bag. I hope that makes sense, right? Some dudes use money as a way to control broke women or, or some women use money as a way to control broke men. This person wants to show you or prove to you that they have what you have or they can do for you what you need done. So they're going to start giving you a lot and spend a lot of money on you or sending you cash apps or something like that. And they're also bragging on you and telling people about you and your accomplishments. Spirit. Okay, first card out is loyalty on their side. Okay, this person... This motherfucker is coming in to be loyal to you, okay? I don't know what the fuck is going on. Stubborn love, mirror, spiritual connection. I feel, and I feel like that's what it is. I think that this person was stubborn in the past. This could be someone extremely attractive, and they are a divine masculine, right? So this person has the potential to have a lot of money or to make a lot of money they take care of their responsibilities their bills are paid this is a good dad or a good mom you know so a lot of people are like he's a catch she's a catch she has money she takes care of her kids she be at home she don't be out at the club you know smelling like you know fucking toilet water you know <laughs> like or he right so this person is very egotistical and a little arrogant and they're stubborn when it comes to actually giving their all to someone because they had not found a divine counterpart yet. Basically, this person was a divine masculine slutting around with a bunch of karmics, sleeping around with a bunch of karmics, entertaining a bunch of karmics. And when they met you and found you, they just thought of you as yet another karmic, yet another woman that's not on their level, yet another man that's not on their level. <laughs> Here goes somebody else that don't bring to the table what I bring to the table. Only they didn't have the, some sort of distance and stuff like, you know, they've had a change of heart, basically, is what I feel like. Because now they feel like, I know I ruined our connection with their pride and their ego and their stubbornness. But with the soulmates, soul connect, the spiritual connection, <laughs> it says deep love, soulmates, and unity. So you and this person fell into a very, very deep love with one another because of the soul tie and because of the divinity because this person is a divine masculine and you're a divine feminine and you know y'all may not have known those terms or what a divine masculine and what a divine feminine were and things like that at that time but now y'all like at least you do you know and they may not know any terminology but they know how they feel and they know what they think and <clears throat> it came out i told y'all this person's stubborn yeah they both of y'all may be a little stubborn I feel like y'all are going to spend a little bit of time looking at each other and um, <laughs> look, mirror, it wanted to come out and spiritual connection. I'm not taking them. Oh, shit. With intimacy? This person wants you. I don't know if y'all used to have a sexual connection, but if y'all didn't, they want one. And if y'all did, this person felt really close to you they felt that it was more than just sex but that's not what they were looking for but they fell in love with you is what I feel like so this person is wanting intimacy with you they miss it or, or they're craving it 
unexpected running into a lost love after a long period so y'all may actually bump into this person out somewhere harmony peace balance friendship i mean oh, shit i don't know how else to fucking say it whatever is going on with y'all in this this divine masculine i don't think this person was in a divine energy in the past i really don't i don't feel like this is a divine masculine who moves around as an emperor i feel like this is a divine masculine who moves around like a karmic because they attach themselves to karmics but i feel like this masculine could easily shift into a relationship or loyalty or dedication or being trustworthy and reliable if they wanted to they just haven't found themselves wanting to do that until now right because they do want to do that now they want to do that with and for you you know which really doesn't leave much room for this other person which is why i don't be knowing why they be in these readings you know what i'm saying because it's like everybody should be moving the fuck on everybody should be going their own separate way and, and you know trying to make it do what it do with somebody else or alone for a while or whatever but this person just can't seem to leave well enough alone because i feel like this person has punished you all that they wanted to and all that you would allow and that's over right they neglected you they abandoned you they mistreated you they belittled you they laughed at you they talked about you this person did everything that they could do to you and you probably did everything you could do to them. There is nothing left that y'all can do to and for one another except kill each other. And they coming back again. It's like, what are, what, are, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, how much do you got to hate your goddamn self? I mean, because this feels like self-hate. Shit, this, this feels like a motherfucker who like pain and misery and, and chaos and madness in their life. God damn. Okay, so we have embrace, craving your physical touch. You see what I'm saying? This masculine, some of y'all, it may not have been sexual. It, it could have been that y'all, you used to hug this person really good and tight. You get real tight, good, long hugs, you know, or something like that. And they miss that. Uh, but I'm, for those of y'all, if it was sexual though, whew, okay. This person literally just want to feel you rubbing they back, okay. They just want to feel you rubbing they, rubbing they head real quick, like. They're ready to be loyal to you. They're ready to be dedicated, trustworthy, reliable for you. They want you to be able to call them when you need something. You know how you need shit and you may hit up your ex, right? Say, y'all ain't even been together for five months, but you're like, damn, I really need help with this light bill. You know what? Let me see what Tony is doing. And then you hit up Tony and he's like, fuck you, bitch. Call them niggas you've been fucking, you know? And you like, what? I ain't fucking nobody. Like... <laughs> you know what i'm saying but then you like oh god like I, I already knew that was a mistake you know what i'm saying so it's like one of those type of situations where you don't this person don't want you calling tony this this new masculine they want if you need help with your electric bill you need to call me right that's this energy that this new that this divine masculine is coming toward y'all in <sighs> um cheaters got busted in public and elusive did i say that already this person may have busted this other person in public with somebody else and, and ran up on the dude figured out that this person was dishonest and tricky that broke their heart but they're still even through all the shit this person has been through they're still acting extremely uninterested in you but they're stalking you driving past your house and hoping you call them and shit like that this person i'm telling y'all this person wants y'all to call them I know that for a fact and i'm telling you if you get a cash app or some random money from somebody especially for those of y'all who have kids <clears throat> with somebody who has not been there or has not been playing the role of the dad or the mom like they're supposed to you know like because you can move on and get in a new situation without neglecting and abandoning your kids so this person chose to do it that way and you may get some large lump sum of money or a couple hundred dollars, whatever they can spare. You may get it from this person. It's They're doing that, though, so you will reach out to them and call them, period. Okay. Questionable with more questions than answers and failure. A lot could launch, couldn't get things off the ground. I feel like you guys... There are questions. We know that this divine masculine ruined you guys' connection in the past because they were not in this divine energy. 
that I feel they're coming towards you ready to step more into a divine energy. I'm not gonna say they're coming towards you as a divine, but they're ready to be a divine masculine to match your divine feminine energy. But there are questions. Y'all wanna know what happened. This is the person, right? Where I'm like, there's one person that you don't want closure, you don't need an apology, you don't wanna know what happened in the past. That's this energy. Then y'all have somebody else where there are questions where we do need to talk about it, where you do need to fucking admit that you, you know, turned your back on me. You ain't got to tell me why. You ain't got to go into no details, but you're going to motherfucking say the truth. Okay. We're not going to play like I turned my back on you, boo. Right. <laughs> you turned your back for whatever the fucking reason. So I do feel like there's still like what happened between us, you know, everything was going good. We was really getting to know each other. We was vibing, you know, I was fucking with you. You seemed like you was fucking with me and then you were gone, but we know why they were gone because of the pride, because of the ego, because of their arrogance, because they were stubborn against the fact that they were falling in love or had fallen in love with you. And they felt like, oh, well, there's so many other options and there's so many other beautiful women. And there's so many other attractive men. And there's so many other, uh, you know, opportunities that I could come across. Like, why would I give myself and my all and my emperor status to the, to the collective? Not knowing that you are their motherfucking empress, right? So now this person has this, uh, this infatuation for you this addiction, this craving, this desire for you, to feel you, to have you, to hold you, you know, in all types of ways. And so they're coming in for the chase. They're actually preparing for the chase. So if you haven't heard from this person, it's because they're they're preparing to chase you the fuck down. I mean, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> uh, if you have heard from this person and it's slight or y'all ain't really, you know, it's a little here and there, a little response to a message or a little DM or you know, a little liking of a post, that's just the beginning because this person is getting ready to get into a relentless pursuit when it comes to you because they want this victory. Like I was saying, they feel like they dropped you, they fumbled you, they fucked up in the past and they're not gonna do that again. They feel like that was stupid, it was a big mistake and they don't wanna do that again. So that with clarity, honesty, intention and truth, this person is has clarity mentally and so they're coming towards you a more honest version of themselves not to say you're gonna get the whole rundown of what happened in the past and if you really want this person and you really want to fuck with them then you shouldn't care what happened in the past right if you forgive them and you really want them then you just got to move forward you know despite what happened in the past because whatever happened in the past it could get you in your head right they could tell you yeah i went back to my my ex but things didn't work out now you in your head wondering why didn't things work out are they gonna try that again but if you didn't know that, if they was just like, yeah, I turned my back on you and I don't know, you know, I don't know why or it wasn't the right decision, whatever they say. And then you accept that and y'all move on. Y'all may have a totally different outcome. And then if you actually know what the fuck really happened. Um, but this, their intentions are true. They're pure. This person is telling you the truth. So if they come and say they love you, they really do love you. If they come and say they want to be with you, they want to try for real, they really do want to be with you and try for real. If they come at you and say, let's move in together, they really want y'all to move in together and they're going to be loyal to you while y'all are living together. But they got to catch you first, right? Because I do feel like they have to catch you first. I do feel like you're running from this person. Yeah. <laughs> Roaming wild, free spirited, risks, possibility. So you're in this roaming wild, free spirited, don't tell me what to do, don't talk to me, I don't want to be here, blah, blah, you and that energy, right? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and then spontaneous, heading towards you. But we also have layers, multiple factors. I feel like the multiple factors, it has something to do with whatever this person went off and did, but I don't really think that's your business. I really feel like you got, you know, the layers, because you still got this stalking ass ex, period. They could be the one, you could have caught this person cheating on you though, if they didn't catch somebody else. This could be somebody that you literally saw this person with the other person they were cheating with, with your own eyes. You went up to their job, it's a bitch up there that don't, don't work that shift. They ain't supposed to be there in the middle of the night. You know, that is, you seen it and you like, mm, mm, -mm. <laughs> You're dishonest, you're a liar, you're tricky, you're a sneak, you're a snake, you a fuck a bitch in the bathroom at the gas station, okay? I don't, I can't with you. Nowhere, nothing is safe with you, right? 
So just take it as it resonates. But yeah, you got this masculine over here, curious, okay? And at the bottom, we have beauty, charming, graceful, luxurious, with preparing, wants to slowly introduce you to the family, and then we back at bragging. So yeah, perfect, perfect place to cut it off. Telling people about you. This person is talking about you. They have, this motherfucker is sending people to your social media account. <laughs> Or pulling up your pictures. They like, who you talking to? They ain't got no current pictures. They don't have no pictures that they could just show. But they could sure uh, pull up your, your Insta. So I feel like they kind of on that type of time right now. But it's all because this person is like preparing their mind and their family and their friends and the people around them for y'all being together. Even though y'all ain't really together yet. Oh, that's cute. They think you are so beautiful. And they want to introduce you to their family. So for some of y'all, you didn't get that far with this person in the past. You may not even been thinking about meeting this person's family. But this, this person is a catch. So a lot of different women and men in the past could have wanted to meet this person's family. And they never got that far. I don't feel like that was anything you were begging for or looking for. <laughs> but they know it's something that people want from them. So they're going to give it to you. They're going to introduce you to their peoples. What? Ooh, be careful. Be careful. When you deal with a divine masculine or a divine feminine, a lot of times they have a lot of jealous family members or you may end up dealing with some weird shit there. But right now you have the upper hand. Just because you went ghost or you went quiet or you ain't fucking with them or whatever. Um, and I feel like when they reach out to you or when they call you or when they text you or DM you or open up to you, you're going to be in this what the fuck energy. You ain't, you're really not going to know how to react to this person making, advancing towards you. Because it's almost like something you thought about, you wanted, you dreamed about, but it's kind of become a dream at this point. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. It's a dream, but you live in reality, right? So you hoped it, you wished it, you wanted it, you dreamed for it, you prayed for it, you manifested it, you asked for it four years ago, right? <laughs> now it's happening and you like, whoa, did this motherfucker just call me? You know what I'm saying? Like, did he just text me? Did he just reach out to me? Like, oh my God, I can't believe this shit. <laughs> Here they are, the King of Cups with the Ace of Swords. This is that mental clarity. This is that aha moment, Two of Wands. Time to take y'all situation. Time to take y'all situation <coughs> down a different path. Excuse me, y'all. I keep having these windows open, knowing I got bad allergies, and it's just not been working out. But I gotta leave the window open. <laughs> Ooh, this is. Is this going to, what am I, this is going to cause a tower? Oh. Ooh. This is going to cause a tower for y'all, I feel like, with the lovers. You're scared to get into another, you're scared to start sleeping with this person again, for those of y'all who was sleeping with them, I feel like. Because you want commitment, you want real judgment, queen of pentacles, you want more. And you're ready and waiting for someone to pass judgment in your favor as the Queen of Pentacles that you are. Treating you with uh, respect and holding you in high honor and appreciating your maturity and your values and things like that. So that's what you want. But with the Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Wands, that's what this person wants. It's how they see you and they, they want what you want. They feel like it would be a victory to be with a woman like you <clears throat> because you are, you know, a, a divine. You are an empress. <clears throat> yeah, the Ace of Cups. This with the Six of Swords. Y'all, this person wants to move. This person wants to come out of conflict with you. They feel like, you know, because of the way they messed up y'all connection or ended things that y'all are now in some sort of conflict. Y'all got beef and they want to just get past the issues. They don't want no static with you. And it's not to say that this person didn't keep up some of the issues or this person didn't facilitate the issues or this person didn't, you know, maybe, you know what I'm saying? They was all in their pride and in their ego. And when you turned your back, they might have tried to act like they didn't care or be, you know, a little shady towards you or whatever. But they want to get, they like, look, I ain't mad no more. 
you know, I, I get it. I understand why you did what you did or why you was moving the way you was moving or why you treated me how you treated me because of how I treated you. So this is more of a the clarity, right? <laughs> being honest with themselves about why shit went down the way it went down, but also being honest with themselves about just who you are in the position that you were meant to hold in their life. And so Ace of Cups, they want to offer you a new cycle where it's built around love and emotional fulfillment and respect and everything, right? Everything good, everything good, everything positive. Yeah, but with the Nine of Wands, Four of Pentacles, you're just not sure about it. And it's because you passed judgment in their favor in the past and they ran off on you or some shit with the Pisces energy of the hangman. It's like this person, they just left things stagnant between the two of you. Again, this is another situation where you probably didn't have any answers. You probably didn't have any closure, but I don't think it was that serious or that deep for you to stick around for years and years or forever trying to get those things. We have Pisces and Scorpio energy, but, and Gemini and Virgo. So you or your person could be any of those signs, but this is going to be tough for this person. I know that. <clears throat> I feel that. I see that. It's going to be tough for them because with the Nine of Wands, Seven of Wands, Four of Pentacles, you're extremely guarded. You're extremely blocked off <clears throat> and kind of defensive when it comes to love or love with this person. And it's because of what you went through with this person. But they don't know nothing about that. They still, even though y'all, even even during this stagnation or with this stagnancy, they still uh, choose a you. They still pass in judgment in your favor. And y'all just, you know, you ain't seen them. You ain't spoke to them. Y'all are at a distance. So they're going to call you, text you, DM you, email you, whatever, the Eight of Wands. But there's communication that's coming. I don't think it's here yet. I'm going to be honest. I think a lot of y'all just have not gotten this communication from this person just yet. <clears throat> yeah, but with the Two of Cups, this is your soulmate. They feel like they're your soulmate. The King of Pentacles wanted to come out on top of that hermit. So I feel like that hermit energy may be your ex. It's like you're in hermit from your ex. So you're in hermit. You've been in introspection. You've low-key been in hiding and distancing yourself, disconnecting yourself from the world. All so that you don't see, bump into, have any experiences with this King of Pentacles. Yeah, you're moving in silence. You're sneaking. You're moving in silence. I feel like you're being calculated and strategic, but I feel like your ex thinks you're sneaking around or hiding something. They may even feel like you're sneaking back to this person, but you're trying to hide it. But I also, I feel like this is their energy stalking you and trying to find a way back in because you are in hermit, because you have disconnected. Yeah, you see five of wands with the four of wands. They're going to, you have your ex who wants to compete with your twin? Five of cups? Do they have regrets? There's remorse. There was self-sabotage. There's this, I wish I never did. I wish there's crying over spilled milk energy. This person is rushing in trying to offer you a new cycle in love as well. We have the ace of cups under the five of cups. With the Emperor, the King of Wands, the Knight of Swords, the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords with the Ace of Wands. So they're still, we already know this person is still damaged, heartbroken, shattered, and destroyed over another connection that was literally sex-based. But they're fucking crying over it like a bitch. <laughs> this person knows must have been wide open, okay? The motherfucker was in love, love. <laughs> All by their goddamn self. <laughs> And so now they're sad, they're stressed, they can't fucking sleep at night or whatever. Thinking, and then they come rushing in towards you in this charming, suave ass, I'm him, everybody want me ass energy, trying to trying to get you to get back into an ace of cups with them. Competing against your fucking twin, which is this king of cups. Are you crazy? Right? Like, are you fucking stupid or are you dumb? Ugh. <sighs> 
this page of cups. You know, none of that makes sense to me, okay? <laughs> the two of wands with the page of cups going down a different path, somebody crushing, childlike energy, child energy. Some of y'all are gonna have a child with this king of cups. And that may really change things between the two of you guys. I don't know. Be careful, you know what I'm saying? Kids don't change people, so just be careful with that one because some of y'all might be having a kid and, and you feel like this is gonna be the thing to change this person. And it may not be. And I only say that, and I know the King of Cups is the good option, this is your twin. Um, but if y'all, if your twin finds out or if you find out you're, you're pregnant and you present it to this person, and this is only for those of y'all who can have kids or whatever, it's going to actually start a fight. This person doesn't, they don't, they're not ready for kids or they don't feel like they're financially able or capable of taking care of a kid right now. And I really feel it's more of a, another kid. And this may kind of... Y'all were moving forward, y'all were communicating, you guys had plans, right? And then you tell them about this baby and they react in a way you weren't expecting and you could get stressed out or start having sleepless nights. So just be careful because you don't want to, you know what I'm saying, lose your baby or nothing because you stressed out because the dad is, is acting funny. <clears throat> um, but I actually, I don't know if that's the King of Cups or the King of Pentacles. It's like, because it could be your ex that you go back and tell them, oh, I'm pregnant or you had a baby and they, they cuss you out. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. So just be careful because there's some sort of plan that's going to be kind of fucked up because of a baby. And it's only fucked up because the masculine involved don't want a baby or something like that. And even if this person is madly, deeply head over heels in love with you, like, it's going to change the, it's going to change some shit you know and i'm not saying that's right or don't get pregnant you know i don't know how to word this but just be careful you know what i'm saying having kids with people when y'all when you're not married because that's really all that it is right? unless you're already married and to that point you know but i knew a dude who ran off on his wife okay because they had been married for three four years and then she had a kid and that was all that was it it was all she wrote Yeah, Queen of Swords with the Two of Wands. You see what I'm saying? It's okay. So, this may have already happened. This could be that King of Pentacles. Some of y'all may have already, this person may have already ran off on y'all kid or kids. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, some of y'all, this person already ran off on your kids. And now you're sitting in this Queen of Swords energy. Strategic, intellectual, unbothered, unattached, no feelings. And they want to take things down a new path. Some of y'all, this person is going to try to use your kid or your kids against you. You may have a fire and or a water sign child. This person is stressing, though, about the way that they have done their kid or kids. So if this already happened, this person is sick over who they really are. A deadbeat loser piece of shit. They literally can't even sleep at night thinking about their kid or their kids. Like, and how they haven't seen them or spoken to them or been a part of their lives for however many years, you know, fucking tricking off on some other bitch. And now they want to take things down a new path and reconnect and get to know the kid or the kids. And you're like, mm -hmm. this ain't even on no, you know, fuck you. You know, this ain't that type of energy with the Queen of Swords. It's literally like a, we don't need you. Like, I'm so sorry. I thought I needed you. I thought they needed you as their father, but somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is like, no thank you you know type energy it's not it's not like i hate you fuck you bitch ass motherfucker like nah this is just like you know <laughs> no thanks yeah okay so i don't think y'all know this person through work necessarily i think this person knows ace of pen ace of swords with the eight of pentacles that it's going to be whoever this king of cups is you feel like home to them you made them feel extremely comfortable when they came around you they feel like they could grow with you they want to have kids with you or they want to expand or blend a family or whatever right but they know it's going to be a lot of work 
they know it's not going to be easy to get you to take them serious or take this offer serious or move in with them or start dating them again or even have sex with them again. They know this is going to be hard, but they also know what they know and they also have this clarity, right? So that's where I was saying it could be a little, little, oh, you, you look good, you know, or thank you, you know, or how you being, you know, it could be that right now, but that's the prep, okay? Because the relentless pursuit is coming. They, they refuse to leave you behind because they feel like you're their person. They feel like they were lucky and blessed enough to meet their divine counterpart and they're not letting it fucking go. <clears throat> but take that as I, I was saying it too, though. So some of y'all, they already did that. They already ran off and they feel stupid and they sick about it. Others of you... You're about to tell this person that you're pregnant. This could be your ex or I don't know who this is, but y'all, some of y'all are about to tell somebody y'all are pregnant and they are not going to, you're not going to get the response that you're wanting or looking for. This person's going to run off on you and it's going to leave you in the nine of swords, but you're not always going to be stressed. You're not always going to be disappointed. You're not always going to feel abandoned. You're not always going to be hurt. And they're slowly going to get into that energy. I mean, think about it. Think about people who come when their kids is in their 20s and their 30s and their 40s trying to reconnect with them and have relationships with them. Those motherfuckers been in their head sick over how they did them kids for all that time, right? So this person is not going to be any different from anybody else who's a deadbeat loser piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? So just... <clears throat> Keep that in mind that if you do tell them or if you just told them yesterday or two days ago or a week and they was like, they cussed you out and hung up in your face or told you, fuck you, you that's your baby, you take care of everybody, they not going to feel like that forever. And you're not going to be in that nine of swords forever. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right, Emperor. So this King of Cups is coming towards y'all in Emperor Energy. This person is coming towards you. This person has ascended. This person has matured. This person has leveled up. This person has grown up. Who knows what? I feel like it's got something to do with whatever was going on that you got all the questions, no answers. Whatever that was, it didn't work out and it grew this person up tremendously. And now with the Ace of Swords, they know and they coming towards you to do right by you and to sit on their throne and, and provide for you and take care of you. I love this. Love it. Okay. Actually, and y'all ex didn't really even come out other than the fact that they're being sneaky. They're being sneaky. They're a snake. Let me get, uh, let me just get two more. The Wheel of Fortune with the Nine of Swords. What'd I tell y'all? Some of you guys with the page of wands still at the bottom. So this definitely has to do with a child or children for a lot of you. Um, they're being sneaky. They trying to come back. Luck is not on their side. They want luck to change for them. They feel like maybe if they reintroduce themselves to their kid or get to know their kid or kids, that luck would change for them or something but they're definitely in the nine of swords. They're definitely stressed out, sleepless nights type energy. They're being sneaky. They're trying to be cunning and conniving and you know, find a very sly way to get back into your life. Yeah, the hermit again. Yeah, six of cups. Okay, I just wanted to be sure with the eight of swords. <laughs> Yeah, you are all on this person's mind. And here they are, King of Pentacles with the Hermit. You are all on this person's mind. The sun, they either see how happy you are or they feel like you are their happiness. Look at this. <gasps> yeah, you're their happiness. They could see how happy you are, but they feel like you are their peace. You are their happiness. You also have, have the stability that they need. And they also have this sexual addiction and obsession and infatuation with you. But so they're wanting to start a new cycle with you. Um, but it kind of looks like it's a day late and a dollar short. I kind of feel like y'all are going to reject this person. Yeah, four of cups with the nine of wands. You're going to reject them. This person is going to be, this, this regret will last a lifetime for this masculine. This person will regret what they did to you and they may even chase you down for the rest of your life. Like, and I'm going to just be honest, trying to get some sort of fucking victory. 
chasing you down, trying to get a victory, and also trying to get some sort of financial assistance because when they come back towards you, they're coming back with literally a fucking knapsack. You know what I'm saying? Like, this motherfucker ain't coming back with no $15,000 in the bank. They ain't coming back with no good credit. They coming back with, with less than what they left with. If this person left with four bags, they coming back with two, okay? All right, y'all. So that's going to be our read. And be sure to give it a thumbs up. Like it if you like it. Subscribe if you like my vibe. My name is Omni Badu. I love each and every one of you guys. Thank you for your likes, your subscriptions, your donations, all of your positive comments. And until next time, bye.